Ladies, welcome to the after show. I wanted to continue our conversation with these amazing women. All right, so Crystal, I'm gonna put you on the spot, sister. <laughs> All right, so when it comes to business, mm -hmm. what would you say you have learned about yourself? Because I think we all discover things about ourselves on this journey. What have you learned about you? I'm a little impatient. Yes. I have learned that. <laughs> uh, let's start there. But it's been a way for me to see myself in every other area of my life mm -hmm. because um, to see myself as somebody who did not want a business at all, at all and to take my business from nothing to what it is now has shown me like girl you you doing it yes. you know so i mean it's it's I've, I've learned how strong i am i've learned mm -hmm. um just how great i am with people and yes. to have a business that is god focused that has mm -hmm. the name god in it um it, it can be challenging because people have these expectations of yes. you and, and what the business should represent. So to me, it helps me to level up. It helps mm -hmm. me to, to really know like, you know, you, you're good. You're good. You, you're, you're, re it. you're really good at this. Yes. The thing yes. you didn't want to do. So I'm, I guess it, it's taught me you know, I'm good. And that's so powerful because you said the very thing you did not want to do, and I have found that to be the mm -hmm. case, the very thing you're trying to shy away from yeah. is the very thing God is trying to use. All right, Katarina, what would you say is important, or do you say it's important to have mentors in mm -hmm. business? What would you say about Absolutely. that? Absolutely. I think mentors and sponsors because you want oh, access sponsors. to information, yes. people, and opportunities. And sometimes as a startup business or a small business, you don't know exactly where to go to get that. But it's also important to have the right mentor. We sometimes look at people like, Oh, I want to be just like them mm -hmm. and they're not you're not supposed to be just like them yes. but there's somebody out there that can feed into you you know what it is that you're supposed to do in your space so sponsorship is important because sometimes it leads to other opportunities and that's what you want so it's now, critical we, look, we keep it real on the after show as well so when she's talking about sponsors so I am her. literally in the spirit over here that's like Lord where are they <laughs> but that term can get confused she's not talking about a man sponsor <laughs> no no ma'am break, break it down what you mean so a sponsor, <laughs> you should be able to pick up the phone and call your sponsor and say, listen, this is what I need to get to this next level. And there are three people that can make that happen. And I know you know those three people. Yes. So that your sponsor is going to call those three people and say, hey, when so-and-so calls you, pick up and Girl. do exactly what they need. Girl, let me tell you, see, that that's is the thing. Women of color need to understand that that's happening. That's it's how happening. things are being moved forward in this, in this, in the career and business and all that good stuff. That goes back to humility though, yeah. right? Right. Like, you know, you, you have to be humble enough to say, I need this help. Yes. And then humble enough to say, I'm going to help you because I was there. Mm. Girl, that's so good. All right, Tia, what would you say um, has been a podcast or a book, whatever you want, that has influenced you or that you're tuned into? Well, uh, I listen to so many podcasts. One of them is called Blessed and Bossed Up. Mm -hmm. um, I listen to Yes Girl, which is from some of the I Essence I love that editors. one. Yes. Yeah. There's another one called A Well-Rounded Life. Mm -hmm. And she's also mm -hmm. a mother. And she's a business owner. And she's you know has three kids. And she's married. So sometimes when you can connect with those people who yeah. are doing what you're doing, you get that valuable information. And for my books, I'm reading It's About Time yes. to learn how to kind of, that Valerie Burt. Yes, to uh -huh. just kind of learn what what what's important and the other one that i haven't started but it's on my bedside is secrets of a millionaire mind mm -hmm. oh i wonder i think i might because you know my husband told me if one more amazon package comes <laughs> in the mail with a book <laughs> that it's a wrap okay so I, I, education. Have, I have one That's more me. question that i wanted to ask you all um how important and one of you can answer all three of you if we have time I have to be very careful about who I talk about my business to oh my because goodness. everybody is not business minded Ooh. and they'll, you know, make me feel bad because I'm so passionate mm -hmm. about it. Have y'all struggled with that at Absolutely. all? Absolutely. But I tell people all the time, God didn't give that vision to everybody else. Mm -hmm. So you have to push past everybody's there. A lot of times it's protection, yes. you know, because sometimes it might be mama, your yes. sisters and they're like, you don't need to Sun do that. It, do, it doesn't <laughs> work. And so you're like, but no, I know that this is a vision that I have. So you have to move forward knowing that it's only for you and sometimes that can be hard mm -hmm. yeah I love that because I think we sometimes hold people accountable Oof. <laughs> we sometimes, yeah. I felt this. We sometimes hold people accountable to believe in our vision, yes, right. and we are the yes. ones who need to believe right. in our vision. Yes. I just felt that, yes. Yes. ladies. <laughs> I felt that one. I hope you have enjoyed this conversation. Remember, the after show is hot 
but make sure you watch every episode of Intentional Living with Life Coach Robin May only on the AIB Network. <laughs>